Have you been given a project, a motion control project, a gantry or some actuator that you have to design and put together for a project or a customer? You probably have looked around and found that there's a lot of information out there, there's a lot of resources and you have no idea where to start. Well, I'm Corey Foster from Valen Corporation and I'm going to help you understand who those resources are and the types of resources that you need. So let's talk through this. I like to use this upside down triangle. It puts products at the bottom and it puts turnkey systems at the top. In between, starting from the bottom, there's knowledge and support, there's service or engineering, and there's sub-assemblies. If we put the products at the bottom and then we add some knowledge and service, we end up with some sub-assembly. If we put enough of those sub-assemblies together, we get a turnkey system. When we put together that knowledge and service and those products, we can call that product or component integration. When we put the knowledge and service together with the products, we can call that product integration, is bringing the products or the components together. If we put enough of those together, it's system integration. Very important distinction, don't confuse the two. There's component integration and there's system integration. Another way to look at it is this way. Putting the knowledge and service together is the applied knowledge of the products. Put together those sub-assemblies and you end up with a turnkey system. You have the component integration and the system integration. The different people, the different companies that are involved in the channel, the sales and distribution channel for those, starts with the manufacturer's reps at the bottom. They may work for their own company, they may work for the manufacturing companies, but they represent the products and they like to talk about the features and benefits of products. Then there's the distributors who have some knowledge of systems and, and different products and services. And there's the value add distribution that brings those together. And then there's the integrators that bring it all together at the turnkey level. If you look at the suppliers there, they're at the features and benefits level. And then being that I'm from Valen, we are the Valen distribution and we like to talk about the applied knowledge. But then we have our Valen engineering, which can do the component integration. Where we don't go is we don't go into integration. Integrators do that. The integrators really have a broad knowledge that can take all this technology, all these different areas and put it together. Now they each have their own specialties in one way or another, but they really have a broader knowledge. Whereas the product people, the suppliers, really have a deeper knowledge of their products. We, the distributors, are really somewhere in between. We have to have knowledge of multiple technologies, multiple products, but maybe not the whole system per se, but more than just the products themselves. So the manufacturers or suppliers have a deep knowledge of the products and technologies, whereas we distributors have to know various technologies and suppliers, and then our engineering can customize those solutions, and the integrators, really, it's the project management that really brings them all together. So don't confuse component integration and system integration, and don't underestimate the need for that project management. So let's take a look at an example. Perhaps you've been tasked to put together a gantry, and maybe this gantry has the x-axis and an x-prime axis and a y-axis, and a z-axis and a theta axis that are mounted to the z. Where does that fit in with our discussion here? If you want to just talk about the product level, you might start with the manufacturers. Now the manufacturers really aren't necessarily well suited for dealing with a whole lot of customers, but let's say you start with a manufacturer or a supplier, and they're gonna to talk to you about the features and benefits of their different products. But perhaps they don't have the motors, and so you're gonna end up talking to a different supplier. Well, then maybe you need a different supplier or manufacturer for the theta axis. So right there it could be three different manufacturers just in the mechanics and the motors. Where we as the distributors really can shine is we're used to talking about all of them and bringing them together. So we can talk about the mechanics, the motors, the theta axis, and we can bring those together and really apply what we know and talk to different manufacturers for you. But what if you want someone to put the whole thing together, the, uh, the assembly at least, at least the mechanics? Well, that's where component integration is. You know, it's bringing together the motors, putting on the mechanics, maybe mounting the mechanics to a frame. And this really depends on how complicated, how sophisticated the mechanics are. But where it really starts to get into full turnkey systems is where the system programming.
comes in. The programming is real key because that can be something that really goes on for a while. So what the what the integrators do really well is manage all of that, bringing the mechanics, bringing the uh, bits and pieces together, bringing the framing, bringing the programming, and managing all that together. So hopefully that'll give you an idea of who you can start talking to. What's really important is your scope of work and knowing how much you want to do yourself versus outsourcing to somebody else. This will give you an idea where that work divvies up between the different types of people and companies.